Hi guys. So today we are going to make a, a bath bomb. So first of all, I would like to welcome all of you to That Skin Geek. Thank you for uh, subscribing my channel and thanks for your support. So today we are going to make a very basic formulation, which is actually a bath salt. So the formulation does not require any heat phase. It is just it is something that you can make with your kids as well, and this is something which is very kid friendly today. So we are going to make a bath salt, which is going to be relaxing. It is going to help with your swelling, inflammation, stress, and everything. Alongside, it is a bit fun to make it with your kids, or you know, for them to use it in your bath. So for the making, we are going to require the following ingredients. This is baking powder or the soda bicarbonate which is readily available in the market you can use the regular baking powder that is uh, available at the uh, you know the bakery store but i have used the cosmetic grade because it is way cheaper than the food grade one then we need citric acid so this is citric acid citric acid is something which is again available at the uh, bakery store as well as uh, a regular cosmetic vendor so this is again cosmetic grade citric acid not the food grade one it is very economical if you compare both these both of these then i am adding some epsom salt it is also known as uh, magnesium salts and if you want to purchase them in india they are available at the grocery store under the name sendha namak so this sendha namak or epsom salt has amazing medicinal benefits it helps with swelling it helps reduce stress and to top every other benefit it actually helps in reducing negativity from our body then i'm using some regular pink himalayan salt so this is just for some show purpose you know just to increase the appeal of the product so my three ingredients that are going in the food processor would be soda bicarbonate citric acid and the salt and i'm going to grind them or mix them very well together if you have a very nice powder of these like this one there's no need to mix it you can you know directly just hand mix them or just mix them with the spatula and your salt would be ready but yeah because i'm gifting it to someone i want it to look pretty so I'm going to be using my soda by calm. So there it goes. So this is 50 grams of soda by carb. So the ratio of soda by carb and the citric acid should be 2 is to 1. So whatever quantity of soda by carb you're taking, you'll have to take exactly half. of citric acid so this is 25 grams of citric acid it generally comes in powder forms but mine has chunky fight then i'm going to add my salt so this is 10 grams of epsom salt you can increase the quantity of salt as per your requirement i'm going to add some rock salt and the rest i'm going to save and then i'm going to put a cling film on it just to reduce the surface area so so this will help in you know a better grinding then i'm just going to grind them so the one which i'm using it is a chutney jar and i only use it for my diy recipes so this is actually my salt is ready this is actually the exact batch salt so all that is left is for us to you know make it look appealing to do that i'm just going to divide it into three different beakers and add different different colors to them make sure the jar that you're using it should be your diy specific jar you don't want to mix your 
you know, if you're making a curry or you're churning something, you don't want to add color or salt or citric acid to your product. So here I have three parts of my bit salt. I'm going to add blue mica. You can also add any fragrance that you want. I don't want to add any artificial fragrance and my purple salt and I'm going to leave one white. So I'm going to mix them up. Mixed and you have added all your fragrances if you want to. I don't want to. So I have these three colors. This is purple, this is blue and this is my regular white. This is purple mica, this is blue mica and this is the white mica. Let me just show you a close up. This is my purple. I just love this violet one or purple whatever you call it. This is blue and I, I am a fan of this blue. This blue actually goes very well with pink. And this is just white to buffer the colors. So I'm using this mason jar. It comes with an airtight lid because I don't want any moisture to go in my bath salt. Otherwise, it would be ruined. So, I'm just going to add my product now. I'm just gonna layer it up. Voila! Isn't it beautiful? Look at the pattern. And when someone opens the lid, because it is for gifting, gorgeous. So, let me just show you how it works. So, I have taken to show you a demonstration, I'm just going to add some leftover mica and woo! I just love this fizz and it is going to give a nice soothing, calming, relaxing effect. If you want, you can add some petals, rose dried flowers, stuff like these into it but this is really amazing. So just try this formulation out. Do let me know if you have any other requests in the comment box. I just I just love this particular recipe, especially in winters. I I my feet I just dip them in hot water and add some two three spoons of this and just take a relaxing Sunday foot spa. So this is something which is very nice and useful for gifting especially uh, in the Christmas and New Year time and do let me know if you have any queries, any requests, anything there in the comment and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much guys. Thanks for watching. Happy making.